Greetings from Manitoulin Island and welcome to Parkinson's disease, Recovery as Possible. I'm Fred Phillips and I'm a person living with the symptoms of Parkinson's. And contrary to conventional thinking, I believe that recovery is possible. And this video series is about my journey towards re recovery, what I've learned along the way, and the protocol and daily regimen that I've developed to achieve my goal of restoring my, my health. Today I'd like to talk about one of the more serious aspects of this health condition and that has to do with swallowing or difficulty swallowing or as it's known by its fancy medical term dysphagia. Choking is actually listed as one of the three most common causes of death amongst people living with Parkinson's. The other two being suicide and pneumonia. So it's a serious condition and it needs to be uh, dealt with appropriately. Now you might be thinking that this is a rather b b a bummer of a talk topic to talk about today, but I think it's a condition that needs to be understood and addressed because there's really no need for us to live in fear. I started experiencing difficulty swallowing in, in around 2013, roughly 11 years after I first started experiencing the symptoms of Parkinson's and five years after my diagnosis. And uh, I did some research at the time, and one of the things I read is that uh, difficulty swallowing has to do with the muscles in the throat constricting. As the, as the condition progresses, uh, that's to say, that is to say as Parkinson's progresses, the muscles in the throat tend to constrict, making it more difficult to swallow. And what I read was that eventually it leads to the point where the muscles constrict so much you have to go on feeding tubes in order to eat. As you can imagine, this scared the daylights out of me, and it's one of the things that led to the panic attacks that I experienced in 2014. So I spoke to my neurologist about it, and he assured me that that was not the case, that of the over 800 patients that he saw at his clinic, none of them were on feeding tubes, and he wasn't aware of anybody else who was on feeding tubes. So this was a great relief uh, to me. And one of the reasons, or one of the things that helped me overcome the panic attacks that I was experiencing. What he did explain, though, is that as the condition progresses, the muscles throughout the body, including the 26 or so pairs of muscles in the th uh, throat, become less mobile. And so, as the condition progresses, uh, the, the, the possibility of food getting stuck in, stuck in the throat increases. That is, as we're trying, as we're transferring food particles from the mouth to the throat, or from the, sorry, from the mouth to the esophagus. So it's not really a constriction issue; it's a mobility issue. The advice that he offered me at the time was to uh, see a uh, speech therapist who could uh, show me some exercises to in improve the strength in the muscles in my throat. Um, but for what, because of what was going on in my life at that time, I uh, decided not to pursue that option. One other thing I should mention is that uh, age can be a factor as well, because as we age, our muscles get weaker, and the muscles in the throat become less effective at, again, transferring food from the mouth to the esophagus. So fast forward a couple of years to 2016, and, and by this time I was living on Manitoulin Island. Um, up until about a year previous, I'd been seeing a body stress relief therapist in southern Ontario and, and got great relief, particularly as it relates to trembling. And by the time I saw moved to Manitoulin Island in 2016, I was experiencing more significant trembling. Plus, I was having difficulty swallowing, and my jaw was in a great deal of pain. I was experiencing TMJ at the time. So I decided to see a chiropractor because there was no body stress relief therapist on the island. And as luck would have it, it's a, a chiropractor who practices the activator method. And the activator is like a mini jackhammer, and it's used to relieve pressure or tension in the muscles in the back, particularly along the spine. And it can also be used to relieve tension in, in the uh, neck and jaw. So I started seeing her uh, r roughly uh, once a week. 
uh, for about a half an hour session each time. And within a short period of time, um, I was trembling a lot less and there was no more pain in my jaw and I was starting to swallow a lot better. Now the reason I think the uh, chiropractic treatments have, have been helpful sort of is in line with what I believe to be the actual cause of uh, Parkinson's, which is fear. Habitual fearful thoughts, which is really chronic worry, causes our body to be in a constant state of fight or flight, where the uh, adrenal glands are continually producing cortisol. Cortisol causes tension in the muscles, and it's these, this tension that leads to the uh, difficulty swallowing. And so it's not a, the activator method of chiropractic is not a cure, but it, it, it's very helpful. It does provide relief. So I, I do uh, take other precautions to make sure that I'm able to swallow my food okay. One of the things that I do is I chew my food to a liquid as best I can. Uh, something else I do is when I'm having my meals, I usually have a smoothie with them so I can use the smoothie to wash down any hard to swallow food particles like meat. Uh, something else I do when I take my supplements, I take them with either a smoothie or warm water. Warm water helps to uh, expand the muscles, making it easier to swallow, whereas cold water tends to constrict the muscles. And I also uh, pay close attention to my uh, posture because I notice that when I'm slouching, I, it tends to be a little bit harder for me to swallow. Um, so like all the other uh, symptoms we experience with Parkinson's, there's a natural solution to the issue of swallowing. And for me, chiropractor treatments have been a great uh, solution. And um, chiropractic treatments have been a great solution. And as a result, I no longer live in fear of choking or not being able to swallow. Uh, so if you want to give chiropractic a try, I highly recommend it. I would suggest, um, for me, seeing a chiropractic practice as the activator method has been really helpful. And it's, I think it's also been beneficial for me to do treatments uh, once a week. And half-hour sessions are, are, have been ideal. Having said that, I'd like to remind you that uh, I, it's not my intention to offer any medical advice or advice as it relates to um, the use or non-use of medications. What I'm sharing with you is, is my journey, and I hope you find it helpful. Thank you for uh, joining me today. If you like what you've heard, please hit the subscribe button below or the notification button if you want to be notified of future broadcasts. If you have any questions, please, or if you'd like to share your own stories, Please see my email below or check out my blog where you'll find over 500 uh, posts on the various aspects of living with the symptoms of Parkinson's. So see you next time. In the meantime, have yourself a great day. Be healthy and content. Cheers.